Hey, art friends, we're gonna draw another character from Dr. Seuss. Which one are we drawing this time? Horton. Yeah, Horton, the elephant from, from Horton you do. Yes. <laughs> we hope you got a marker, you got some paper, and you're gonna follow along with us. We're gonna first draw Horton's eyes, and we're gonna draw them up here towards the top and to the right. And we're gonna draw two ovals, and we're gonna draw them, we don't wanna draw them too big, about this size, right next to each other. Yeah. Now, inside of these ovals, we're gonna draw his pupil, and we're just gonna draw, it's a U shape, so it looks like there's a light reflection in his pupil. Does that make sense? A little yeah. white spot in his, in his eye, so it looks shiny. And we're drawing him to the right because he's gonna hold the little clover where the hooves are. <laughs> Put the marker in your ear, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's draw his eyelids. We're gonna draw one curve that comes over the top left of this eye. Then we're gonna do it on the, on the other eye also. Now down here on this one, let's draw another line that curves underneath his eye. Cool, now let's draw his eyebrows. And we're gonna draw a zigzag line. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna draw a really short zigzag line and it's gonna come around his, around his eye top of his eye. Good. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Little zigzag curves. <laughs> Hairy eyebrows. Good yeah. job. <laughs> now let's also draw some wrinkles on top of his eye. We're going to draw one curve that goes over this eye. And we're going to draw another one on top of that one. So he's got wrinkles. Wrinkly eyebrows. Wrinkly eyebrows. And then he's going to draw, we're going to draw another wrinkle over the left eye. And then we're gonna draw one more on top, but it's gonna to connect to this one. We're gonna draw, it connects like that. And that's for the top of his head. Now on the top of his head, we're gonna draw his hair and it's really messy. So we're gonna draw a line that comes out and back in like this. Looks like a, yeah, a leaf, a leaf or a raindrop. Kind of looks like a water fountain. We're gonna draw another one that's bigger. I'm gonna draw a couple more right next to it. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time to finish a step. Now we're gonna draw his trunk and it's gonna curve down and back up where his ear is. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a big U shape that comes back up. Smiley face. And we're gonna stop right below his eye. See how the top of this line lines up with the bottom of his eye? Yeah, good. Now we're gonna draw the rest of his trunk. We're gonna draw another line that curves right here and up. And we're gonna get closer to the line up here. Yeah, just like that. So we're further away down here and closer up here. Now let's draw his smile. We're gonna draw it coming out of the, his, from under his trunk. And then we could draw a cheek line. And then let's draw the bottom of his head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then curves down before it connects into his trunk. Now this is where it turns into his ear, but we're gonna come back and finish his ear later. Let's finish the end of his trunk where he's holding that clover. So right here we're gonna draw a curve that connects the two lines. Yeah. And then right here we're gonna draw another curve that comes around and then stops. Now this is a little tricky, but this line right here is gonna curve around and then connect back in. So he's holding onto the clover with the end of his trunk. Now right here, we can draw a little curl at the very end too. There we go. Now we can draw the clover coming out of his trunk. We draw a little curvy line and then we're gonna draw a little dashed line that goes around and makes a circle. Does that look like the fuzzy little clover? Yeah. <laughs> Next, let's finish his ear. We're gonna draw a big crazy line. It's gonna come up like this, really high, and then it's gonna come back down and out. Is that tricky? Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the bottom of his ear. We're gonna draw, it looks like wings actually. We're gonna draw one little feather. <laughs> then we're gonna draw another small feather and then an even smaller feather and connect it into, they're not really feathers. Yeah. It's just the end of his ear. 
It looks like wings though, huh? Yeah. Now we can draw the inside of his ear too. We draw a little curve. It's gonna be next to the clover. Then we're gonna draw the inside that comes up and it's gonna follow that crazy line we drew for his ear. And then it's not gonna come as far down. Perfect. Now let's draw his other ear. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a crazy line that comes up and then back down and out. Yeah, all right, now we're gonna repeat the same step we did over here and we're gonna draw bumps for the bottom of his ear. One, two, and then I'm, I'm getting smaller too. See how the bumps are getting a little smaller? And then I'm gonna draw one last one that's really small in the end. Now let's draw the inside of his ear just like we did over here. We're gonna draw a line that matches the outside of his ear, but it doesn't come all the way down. Good, now we could draw his body. We're first gonna draw his back. And we're gonna draw a big curve that comes out of his ear and then curve down like this. <laughs> Good, now we could draw the front and we're gonna draw it right here next to his, his face. We're gonna draw his chest. And I'm gonna draw it a little bit longer. Now we're gonna draw his front leg. We're gonna draw a curve, it comes in and then out. Now let's draw the back of his front leg. We're gonna draw, and it's bent. So we're just drawing a curved line like that. Now let's draw the top of his foot. We're gonna draw a curve. Looks like a sideways J. Yeah, and then we're gonna curve back for the bottom of his foot and then draw his heel and connect up. Perfect. Now on his foot, let's draw two toes. They're gonna to be upside down U's. All right, now we could draw his other front foot so he looks 3D. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down and bends. And then we're gonna draw that this same line for his foot and then curve it into and connect. Yeah, to his other foot, good job. Let's draw one toe on that foot, upside down U. All right, now let's draw his back foot. We're gonna draw a curve that comes in like this and then back. Looks like a sideways V. Yeah. And we're leaving a little gap right here for his tail. So this line gets real, it can get really close to his back line. Okay, now let's draw the front of his back leg. It's gonna curve just like we did here, but going the other direction. And then let's draw the top of his foot. We're repeating a lot of the same steps, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. And then let's curve this down for the bottom of his foot and then connect it in for his heel. What are we missing on this back foot? Toes. Toes. Let's draw two upside down U's just like we did on the front foot. All right, now right here, we're gonna draw his belly. So we draw a little curve in between his legs. And then we're also gonna draw his back leg inside of there, the fourth leg. So we draw a little curve that matches the front of his other leg and we'll draw his foot and then connect it in. Now, if your legs are closer together and you don't have room for that, you could just leave that off if you want. Let's draw another toe in there. Boop. Good job, dude. <laughs> now, what are we missing? The toe. Yeah, we're missing his tail. This is a fun part. We're gonna draw an S line. We're gonna come out of his back, curve one way and then back the other way. All right, now let's draw the same curve going back into his leg underneath it. Yes, and then right at the end, it's kind of hairy. He's got some hair on the end of his tail so we can draw some curved lines coming out. All right, dude, we did it. We finished drawing Horton, you did awesome. Except we still need to add a little bit of shading to make him look more 3D and I love the way Dr. Seuss shaded his characters. Now, if you guys want at home, you can leave this part off to keep the lesson a little easier and fast forward to where we color it. But let's add that shading so it looks even cooler. Okay, so right under his ears, we're gonna add some lines. And this part, we may go a little fast, so you can remember, you can always pause the video. Now, I'm also gonna add some lines up here inside of his ear, 
And I'm gonna add some lines on this side too, coming down. Good. Now let's also add some wrinkles right under his chin. I added three little wrinkles. And then on his trunk, we gotta add wrinkles there too. So I'm gonna add a curve and I'm gonna space them out kind of far. And as we go up his trunk, see how I'm turning? Yeah. Good, and then I'm also gonna add the little lines going across the curl in his trunk. Yeah, good job. Now let's add some shading on his back behind his ear. I'm gonna add lines, and they start out long, and as I go down, I'm gonna get smaller. Now, we could do that same thing right here on the back of his leg. Get smaller, so I started long and then got smaller. And then let's add wrinkles on his legs. I'm gonna add three little wrinkles on the back. And then I'm gonna add three wrinkles on the front. I'm gonna add these wrinkles over here too on his other leg. <laughs> okay, and then we can add wrinkles in his armpit. <laughs> and then over here too, on his back leg. Okay, now we still need to color him. He's gonna look so much better once we color him. Yeah. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but you guys can pause it at the end to match the same color. Jack, good job, man. You did awesome on coloring Horton. That's a lot of blue. Yeah. Now, if you guys want, at home, you could pause the video to match the same color, but it's pretty easy. It's just blue and then pink for the little clover. Yeah. Now, you could also color him gray because in the animated, movie. yeah, in the movie, he's gray. I think in the books, though, he's blue. We hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing Horton. Now, it's okay if their drawings look different than ours, right? Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to practice. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.